welcome to my channel. Hello, welcome. So we're going to go know why I chose to do this next to the playground. So we're here at Venture Park in Portland and uh, there's a nice little pump track here. So we're going to hit that up and we're going to be hitting up some of these jumps, kind of testing out the differences. Oh God. Um, there's really not a lot of tracks like this in Portland. There's just like a handful. So this one's really cool because it's not super far out and it's easy to get to. And uh, yeah, we're gonna just hit some of these little jumps, see how it feels, test out some of the differences between the um, RS, the MSP, and the 18XL. And uh, yeah, see, uh, see how this part is. As I was about to get on the track, this guy shows up with this RC car. <laughs> Hell yeah! This thing was jamming. Hmm. So of course we're going to try to race this thing now, right? Douglas is the real sun. <laughs> I jumped on the RS to try to ride it around, see how it feels. I am recovering from a couple different injuries right now, so I couldn't really give it as much as I really wanted to. Pretty much anytime you get a newer, bigger wheel, there's an adjustment period, and it takes a little bit of time to kind of adjust and learn how to move the machine around. Especially for me, as kind of a smaller rider, like adjusting to these bigger wheels, all the tiny stabilizer muscles and power that you have to put into the turns and the twists and all of the little balances, uh, it makes a big difference, especially coming from the 18XL, which has a really thin frame and is pretty like easy to make it move. These bigger wheels, the Gawi wheels especially, they take a lot more work, a lot more lean, a lot more uh, push to really get the speed out of them. And sometimes that just comes with time on the wheel, you know, with, with putting in 100 or so miles or more before you can really push it to its limits. So I just tried to be cool and pump up my tire and then I accidentally let all of the air out of my tire because my thing completely stopped working. So now Douglas is going to carry my wheel to the gas station and pump it up and bring it back. So that's cool. <laughs> Hero of the day over here. Saving the day over there. Watch out for those children on the hoverboards. Oh my god, there's like a whole little hoverboard gang over here. Bum ba da bum ba da ba. Yeah! Alright! Alright, so we did it. Hung out here and now we're gonna go a few blocks over to this track and try to ride some long straight flat stuff till the sun goes down.
about one lap around the track before a neighbor stopped us. We thought that he was going to kick us off the track, but he was really nice, and he just asked us to be polite, uh, not to blow past people, slow down way before we come up on him, and it was kind of a nice interaction, actually. You know, I want to share something with you that's going to make sense, because I know you're all intelligent. You know how to operate that thing. I would. Is that when there are people out here, you see them coming out, walking their dogs, moms pushing strollers, you know where I'm going with this. Yeah, yeah. Be safe. Absolutely, you know, absolutely. See, slow down by people, and then once you're plenty past Thank them, you, Dave. You know, it's like politeness is out the window. Exactly. So so just a reminder to slow down around pedestrians and be respectful to people, especially in pedestrian areas, and then we can keep shredding. Bikes and the paths, there's like no exit when you're sitting down. Oh, current seated racer. Thank you. Nobody race seated. That's what I'd be doing. Yeah. Nobody has done that, so you'd be the first. Seated there. racing. Yeah. Dang. Yeah. Done that the new class. It's like way closer to the, I don't know, you can like touch the corner. Mm -hmm. so you can accelerate quicker in a ball. That's yeah. true. I just feel like I'm like, I'm like, what is my exit strategy if something goes off here? Hard, yeah. That's true. You're, you're not right gonna here, like so smack. Like, oh, fuck. Yeah. Like, you would gotta... roll quicker when I roll. I would you run into. Through the air. Right. Or if you just slide out. I think that the most likely thing on this track would be like if you like took a corner too fast, seated and slid out. This is pretty nice. You'd slide nice on this. Yeah. 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 You would just slide sideways. <laughs> Alright, we did it. We did the track and uh, we're gonna ride back to the car and uh, wrap it up for the day. Oh, this gravel, man. I feel like that was a success. I feel like we've never done that track before. It was a lot of fun. I really like the uh, race track. Yeah, the little, the pump track is really cool. It's like dirt jumps for kids, so it's not too scary. It's like a good one to like get practice up on. Although we did get like really shown up by that RC car. I feel like that kind of like... <laughs> Doing backflips. Yeah, it's like we can't do backflips. <laughs> oh, we're going to fit three wheels in here, huh? Yep. Cool, thanks for watching. Uh, be sure to like and subscribe and hit that notification button and we will see you next time.